Hello and um, welcome to this broadcast. Uh, this is Minister G. L. Harden of the um, Holy Spirit's uh, radio show. And I wanted to come on uh, briefly to really st talk about uh, changing times, uh, these changing times. Uh, as we all know, uh, we have a new president that's coming in uh, in a matter of actually five days. Uh, President-elect uh, Donald Trump uh, will be in office uh, on January the 20th. And a lot of people uh, have, have chimed in and expressed their uh, either like or dislike of uh, this president uh, being elected to the White House. And, uh, but yet, um, assumingly, the votes have been tallied in and, and, uh, and he won Although there, there is a lot of speculations about uh, him uh, winning this election, and, and even people have said, uh, as late as a couple of days ago, John Lewis had, uh, uh, said that um, that Russia and with their hacking had something to do with Donald Trump uh, winning this election. But never, nevertheless, we are uh, at this crossroads uh, as a people and as a nation, and that because of this election has. Uh, had, had divided us uh, tremendously, man. I mean, people were divided uh, and still are on both sides. Uh, Donald Trump ran a racist, uh, sexist campaign, uh, and, his, and his theme was make America great again. <laughs> and, and the question is, when has America ever been great? When, when has, as a nation of people, uh, we have come together as one, united and working together? On one accord. That has never, ever, 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 ever happened. Therefore, there's no such thing as make America great again. It, it never was great. It was always uh, terror and torture and rape and murder and 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 and, and everything else. Sodomy, you can think of, is how America was built. <clears throat> so that's the facts. And yet, uh, we are looking at uh, a lot of people um, in the conscious community, uh, and a lot of our urban cities are trying to come together and, 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 and get some type of unification going on in order for us to really uh, begin to uh, galvanize man and, and, and really begin to create from, from within. If we haven't learned anything from this uh, this uh, last election, is that black folk, you got to come together. You really don't have a choice. <laughs> That's it. You don't have time to sit around and watch an empire and scandal and being Mary Jane and, and, and being entertained by uh, BET television uh, like the norm. There's an all out war. I saw a video earlier today. Uh, there's an all-out war to eliminate the people of color. And white folks are running frantically in their demonic minds trying to, quote-unquote, preserve their race. That's not going to happen. No, no, no matter how much money you got, how much corruption, how much, uh, how much uh, demonic things you do, nature has shifted. And it's beginning to align back into its natural form. You can't control it. You can send all the harps you want in, in, in the sky and all, and all the chemtrails you want in the sky, but it, it's going to happen. You may try to delay it, but it's going to happen. But in the meantime, we have to galvanize and get ourselves together because they're going to uh, present an all-out war again on people of color. So we're going to get through these changing times. But we got to continue to run our race and rebuild each community one block at a time, I, as I always say. Begin to form organizations within your community. community. Don't sit around with, with, waiting on the, on the church to do it. 
your pastor to do it. Begin to galvanize yourself. Learn your local government. All of them, them knuckleheads, all the city council members, all those people who are voting locally in your community, begin to, to learn them. And if you can, go to some of the sessions that down uh, um, downtown in your city and sit down and see what they vote on, see what they're talking about. Meet one of them, a few of them, get to know them, write them, email them, but let them know that, that, that you are on watch. Because this whole thing that they're trying to create, it's going to start locally first. So you got, you got to keep your eye on those. And black folks, most of these people in urban cities are, are, are black uh, politicians. You got to watch them. But they are bought and paid for. And too many of them are house Negroes. You got to be mindful. You got to be mindful. You, you, you got to create uh, programs for power outage. Food and water shortage, gas shortage. So many things that we're going to be seeing in uh, the, the next several years or so. And it's not going to be for a few hours, it might, might be for a few days, maybe even weeks. But we have to be prepared for that because what they, what they need is panic and frenzy, chaos. That's what you see in Chicago. They want you to kill each other first. And then they swoop in. The same way God brought you out in the Bible. In all these wars. God made the enemy attack, attack themselves first. And then we were able to go in. And through the power of God. That's what they're doing to you. They just reversed it. They say let them kill each other first. Let them cause all kind of chaos in their communities. Robberies and rapes. And innocent, uh, uh, just senseless shootings. And then we come in and we steal the spoils. Meaning we lock their asses up. And so we can have all this free labor for major corporations. You got to be mindful, people. I saw this video yesterday. A friend of mine showed me this video by this rapper called 21 Savage. Not even a rapper, man. He's a yapper. <laughs> and this brother, this brother on this video, bless his heart, he, he didn't understand that he is the, a part of white supremacy <laughs> and racism, white right supremacy. He don't know that the reason why you, you're able to put a video like that on YouTube and, and they don't take it down is because you, 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 you're teaching young children, boys and girls, when somebody say something you don't like, just shoot the hell out of them. Shoot them. Rape women. Degrade women. But anything that looks like you, kill it. And kill it fast. With no, without even a conscience. Got a video called, what is it called? No fear, or no something. And the brother... No heart or something. And the brother just truly believed that he is the, he is the, the, the shiznit on this planet. When white folks are giving him all the guns, give him the guns, give him the money, give him the weeds, give him the hoes. Because he's, he's working for us. And this brother and his whole clique, they think they're real niggas. And what they are is they are white supremacist in the color of melanoid and don't even know it. But that same anger and fear you got that you're leashing out on your own people should be the other way around. You're going to kill something that looks like you that, that, that ain't got nothing. But yet the, the same thing that took everything from your ancestors, that raped you, that cut your, 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 your uh, great, 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 great grandfather's balls off and penises off. And ears off. If you don't want to kill him, that's your home. But yeah, man, yeah, they, they, yeah, man, Mister, you know, Mister Einstein, man, he cool, he cool, he cool in the mud. You don't lost your damn mind. 
Because after they get done exploiting you, they're going to send somebody to kill you too. And they'll raise up another 21 Savage. All of this stuff that you're seeing that is so outrageous, so amazing how Facebook and, and, and all these other social medias, they say, oh yeah, let, 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 them, let them do that. But when you, start, when you start talking about black power, black unity, they'll block your ass. I start, I start speaking the truth about slavery. Oh, they'll block your ass. Pardon my French. But when you start talking about unity, unification, and love, and power, and oneness, they won't block you. You gotta, you, you gotta take that same anger. Doctor Amos Wilson said this one time. And by the way, they, 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 they killed him. He said the, the problem with these young, with these, with these young people, these gang members, is that they haven't figured out yet. Those same guns that they're, they're aiming in their own communities, they have not figured out to turn those guns on their, on their, on their true oppressors. Because truth be told, they can do a video about no fear and, 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 no, and no this and no that and no heart. But really, they are fearful of the white man. They are scared to death of the white man. You think they'll shoot a white boy like that? Just pop, 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 pop? Hell no. Because they know Mr. Charlie going to come get him. But you can be big and bad. <laughs> With your own people. Shoot them up, bang them up, brag about it, and nothing happens. And nothing happens. And you bring fear and terror into your own neighborhoods and your own communities, and you and you feel like a man about that. I'm telling you, brother, when they get done letting you do all that talking and popping and sexing all these women, they're gonna kill you. <laughs> one thing about white supremacy they exploit everything about you and when you have nothing else to exploit they're going to kill you they're going to kill you and then they're going to take your body and sell your body parts this thing, is, this thing is vicious brother you sit there talking about killing this and killing that and I don't care about this and that. They, they, they are, they, they are more, more diabolical than you could ever think of they will, they will take your body parts out of you while you're still alive. Feeling the pain. You have no clue what you're dealing with. You have no clue. And what a shame that is. And, they, and, and, and the inside joke is black folks don't have the guts to, to come after us. So they kill each other. They don't have the balls to fight us. And I'm not, and I'm, I'm not saying Begin to fight them. And I'm not talking race war. I'm talking about the enemy. The enemy. The real oppressors. The ones who make the decisions to pull out all those jobs out of, out of those neighborhoods. All those businesses out of those neighborhoods. Raising up the rent. To run out small businesses who are in there, or people who are are, 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 are renting uh, homes and, and or apartments, to run them out of there. You gotta understand that th this is warfare on every level. That's that, that's why I talked about the the, the the political level level first. It's warfare, and these folks now that while, while you're being entertained by Donald Trump and all this foolishness. <laughs> They're going to start creating laws that will blow your mind. They're going to find anything and everything to find you and lock your ass up on the, on the basic things. And black folks going to be the main ones voting that shit in. I'm trying to tell you. We got a problem here in, uh, just south of, south of at Atlanta and, and uh, Clayton County, where I used to live at. Brother Victor Hill is a sheriff over there. And that county, they are pop, pip, pop, pop, pistol popping everywhere. Just randomly shooting folks. Just, I mean, one brother shot a, shot a, 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 a high school uh, sister sitting in a damn car at a park. He shot her because he thought she was filming him.
Another dude shot his cousin, cousin in the head. On and on and on, man. We're seeing calamities on all sides. And that's why we, we, we got to be, begin to unite, man. And, and, and getting these young babies, uh, I'm talking about from the ages of two, because most of these teenagers, you ain't going to be able to help them. We got to reach out to them, but you, you're not going to save them. You got to build a new nation of, 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 of young uh, melanoid people. Two years old and up. Teaching them the things of God in their true history. And not wasting their time on Christopher Columbus and Shakespeare. Find a, an African centered school. Even if they don't they don't go to the school, go to the school and get some books on African culture, African history history that your children can read. If you want to keep them in public school, because a lot of black folks think that I got to keep my child in private school, public school, and all that charter school. But because I want, you know, if they ain't sitting next to a white person, then they're not getting the, the better education. The devil is a liar. Again, Doctor Emma said it back in back in the, in the nineties. You can put a black child right next to a white child in a private school, and they will be get, getting taught the same thing, but in a different perspective. I did a lecture on African education and the importance of an African education. And I talked about when kids are uh, in elementary school, even in kindergarten, when these kids walk through the hallways, I don't care what kind of school it is. And they see all these white uh, 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 figures, Thomas Edison, Benjamin Franklin, and on and on and on. All these, all these white figures on the wall as great leaders and, and Abraham Lincoln and all these people. And then in the month of February, you got a little photo or two of Dr. King. And that's feeding in their subliminal mindset that nothing about them has to do with building this country in the history and the, and the foundation of this country. And that's a lie. And that's a feeding into their psyche. So you sit in their classroom and you're like, what did we do? <laughs> what did we build? What did we create? What did we invent? And they teach you absolutely nothing about that. You got some schools out in Houston, in Texas. They done took out slavery out, out, of, out of the uh, books and middle schools and high schools. And they say that the African people came over here. They were mig migrant workers. <laughs> and they came over here for a better life. So they work for white folk. You see what I'm saying? If you kill their history, they do not know who they are. And they do not know who they belong to. And that's why you must, and, and, and this is an urgency, you must begin with, with, with our young babies, feeding them their history, their truth. They were great, great warriors in Africa. They have no clue about it, And they're not going to learn it in any public charter or, or, or private school. They're not gonna learn that. And if you if you think you're just gonna take like, send your child to school and, and because you're working hard, you think that you're providing all the Nintendos and, and Xbox and all that there, they need, to, they need to get a good education. They're not getting an education at all. They're getting hoodwinked. And that's why you see so many males Want to be your rappers and athletes. Because the education is designed in truth to first teach white girls and then white males and then black males in that order. And black, I'm, I'm sorry, black females in that order. 
and, and it has nothing for males. White girls, white males, black females, nothing for the black male. And the whole idea is to destroy the black male. If you can't kill him, just lock him up. Well, but, 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 but the production of them having babies, let's end that. We know since, since the 80s, there's been over 16 million babies aborted. No Lord babies aborted through Planned Parenthood. That's a nation. That's a nation that we've lost. What am I ashamed that is? You're going to start a program in your community, man, an after school program or something, particularly on the weekend, that you can bring these babies in. Learn their history. Learn who the kings were. Learn who the queens were. There were great, great queens who were great leaders in Africa and in Kemet. They must know that they were scientists. They were mat great, great mathematicians. Way before the Ice Age ended, and there was only melanoid people on this planet, they had already created science and astronomy. All those things were already created. And yet they got you thinking Einstein and all these other people and, 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 and the Darwin theory. All this foolishness. That people are, people got you studying. And I thank God that all my years in school, I always knew that stuff was a lie. It was a lie, and I knew it. And I thank God I was able to, 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 to really get my mind together through through discernment and, and, and through the spiritual realm and understand that I, my people were greater than this. Far, far greater than this. So let's come together, people. Let's create an organization in our neighborhood where, where, where we can uh, uh, begin to galvanize and, and, and create our own uh, businesses if it means that we start a, a, um, a garden I think every community should have their own grocery store. Because the main thing is through, through this struggle, you've got to be able to feed yourself. And again, you gotta watch those laws, because they're gonna to try to pass laws to tell you you can't you can't grow your own food. You can't you can't you can't save rainwater. You gotta call them out on this stuff, man. Cause, cause, Cause they know that if you can't feed yourself, then you gotta eat their mind controlled foods. I think every community should have a garden, their own local garden, their own local place that they can go there and buy their own foods. And some of the foods that, that, that they out, outsource, they come from a, repu a reputable uh, grocer. So important that we begin to, to co collect water. Open up a small business together. A bank account. Start community business. Start a meat market. Huh? Start a, 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 a beauty store. A clothing store. Where you make natural clothes. We got to go back, people. Like it was, like it was back in the 1900s. We, we, we got to go back. You, you, you had back in with Black Wall Street, you had seamstress, people bought their clothes from one another. All this, all this Prada and all this uh, Kim Kardashian, all this foolishness, that's got the end. We, we have made Europeans rich all over the world for, for centuries. Now you got you to gotta, you gotta put that dollar back in that community and have that dollar turn 100% of the time. It's going to take some time and effort. But we got to pull this thing together, man. We got to start all, all the things of necessity, paper goods, all those things, toiletry, toothpaste, all those things we, we, we do now. You got to have them in those neighborhoods. And don't be all on Facebook telling everybody what you're doing. Begin to do it in secret, but in unity and in oneness. Once again, guys, thanks for listening. And I'm telling you, people. If, if, if this ain't the alarm, I don't know what is. These, these are some major, major, major uh, times that we're living in. But in the, at the end of the day, 
If we keep on pushing, God will see us through. Once again, this is Minister G.R. Harden for the Holy Spirit Blog Talk Radio Show, man. I want to thank you guys for listening and, and, and um, tune in for, um, we'll have, we have a new show coming up uh, in a few weeks, uh, a, a new um, new format in the whole land. Once again, thank you guys. God bless. Peace.